Hey, so I've just been watching this Matt Asplan tutorial to create an outline highlight, even if the object's behind uh, another object, using a post process and uh, material. So I just thought I'd use this as, an, as an, a good a good way of showing an easy way to share snippets. So instead of having to type out a whole bunch of blueprints, you can just copy and paste them. So what you need is a cube, a post process volume, add that to the scene, create a material, uh, make sure I've misspelled it here. High, high lagged. Create your material. Open it up. Go over to the link in the description. Copy the m blueprint material graph. Paste it into your material. Um, and I mean, it, you know, this just speeds up the the whole sharing knowledge thing. <laughs> So I, I hope more people start to use the Unreal Engine snippets tool in the in the hub. Again, the links in the description. So you can just copy and paste it. Set the post process to uh, set the material to post process for the material domain. Then grab, click on your cube, search for custom, and to make sure tick. Make sure you tick render custom depth pass is enabled. Then grab your post process and search for array. Then add, add an array element, which is the material that, that uh, we've just created, uh, which is an asset reference. So click on there, search for M underscore outline, select it, so you select that material and then you have to search for extends, infinite extends in the post process and if you tick that that means everything is applied, the post process is applied to everything in the scene. That's it, um, so you can add a, add a sphere you can see the outline of your your enemies, <laughs> enemy outlines, or your AI perhaps can be can pop up there. So I'm using this one as an example because this is something I I need to do in in, in uh, for what I'm doing. So you can either go into the material itself, grab the color, change it manually, or change any of these attributes and go and I watched Matt's tutorial if you want uh, a bit more of an in-depth explanation about how this is all put together. Um, Otherwise, you can just create a material instance and make sure you go back into your post process volume and select that material instance from the array because you're using the new one now. Now, any cool materials like this that I get come across in the future, I'm going to record video on YouTube for the setup instructions and share snippets uh, just, just like I'm doing here. Now you can, anything that's been promoted to a parameter during the creation of the nodes and the materials and uh, the material can now be edited in real time because it's a, it's a material instance. So pretty cool. You can just adjust anything here. And that's it. Hope that was uh, that was useful. Use the snippets. Cheers.